Welcome back, everybody. Here we are continuing our journey through the Western Cascades. I'm Howie Brownstein of the Columbine School of Botanical Studies. And I'm Stephen Yeager with the Columbine School of Botanical Studies. And, and we're here in the lava. On behalf of Mountain Rose Herbs, we're here in the lava, the lava beds. A pretty exciting place. Some of the newest lava we have here. This is new lava from the Belknap Crater, I believe. Belknap Crater. Was correct. it like hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago? No, I can't hundreds. remember. Them. Yeah. It wasn't that long though, um, compared to much lava. Uh, we're 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 at middle elevations in the Hudsonian zones in the Western Cascades of Oregon. And you know what I like about this place, Steve? What's that, Howie? This place rocks. And here we come to another plant that has long stamens sticking out of it. I wonder what this one is, Stephen. This is Phacelia. Phacelia. Phacelia, that's one. right. Yeah. This is in the Hydrophilaceae family. The Waterleaf family. The yeah. Waterleaf. You can tell Hydrophilaceae's because they have scorpioid inflorescences. Scorpioid. The flowers, as they open, uncurl like a tip of a scorpion's tail. Yeah, and the stamens stick out way past the petals. Oh, that's called exerted. Exerted. Exerted stamens, that's right, that's right. But you know, the hydrophilaceae in uh, current botany, based upon phylogenic research of the DNA sequences, the genetic sequences has shown that this maybe should be in the borage family, the boraginaceae. It depends on the author. And it depends on, on the, the state. And the treatment. So the botanist may treat it in different ways, the treatment of the plant. And sometimes we think the botanist are under treatment. Mm. But what happens in this case is that depending on which state you're in and which book you're looking at, this plant might be in the Baraginaceae or in the Hydrophilaceae, the waterleaf family. My suggestion is to stick with the references that you're using in your locality. This is Phacelia heterophylla. Mmm. Heterophylla, and this plant is edible. Oh, it's edible. That's it's right. edible. Facilias grow in a lot of places. They're quite di diverse in their ecosystems, and I think it's, it's quite nice. Uh, personally, uh, uh, I like to eat the unopened flowers when they're still in the little curly cue. I learned that from our, uh, our, our teacher. A resident teacher? Resident teacher working with us, Heron Bray. Heron Bray. That's right. She she eats them that way. I tried mm -hmm. them. They were really good. A lot less hairier than they are when they yeah. grow up. But still, you this is such a popular plant. You may indeed have heard of the song from this plant, yeah. Cecilia. In fact, on the way over here, Howie and I were listening to WKPM, and they had this song on the radio. It, it was a, a song by a stamen and garphylum. Mm-hmm. Oldie but goodie. Oldie but goodie. Cecilia, yeah. you're, you're going, going in the pot. pot. You're gonna be hot for my supper. Oh, Facilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm baking your leaves to come home. Make my home. Making lunch in the afternoon with Facilia up in the meadow. Making lunch. Thanks for watching. It's been a real blast out here in the lava with y'all. But we have to get back to work. Get back to the office. See you next time. Bye.